SincerelyMrsMommy.com, a mom lifestyle blog dedicated to sharing tips, advice, and inspirational stories for and by the modern mom. Today is day number 10 of the 30 Days of Prayer blogs for moms, and we are talking about love and marriage. And, you know, when we get married, some of us had children before, so we're bringing children into the marriage. Some of us were actually a couple that had children together and then got married. And then there are others of us who didn't have any children before, um, not as a couple, not individually, and we get married, we have a little bit of time to ourselves, and then the kids come. And either way that the kids come into the marriage, it is a transition. It is um, sometimes, it could be a struggle, and you are relearning yourself as a parent, and you're relearning your spouse as well as a parent. Because sometimes we think, oh, this is the way that I want to raise my child, but then when you bring somebody else into the picture to help you with parenting it's like wait a minute our ideas are not really matching up and um what i thought that i wanted to do as a parent has changed now that i am a parent it's like oh reality set in this is what i really can do and this is what i can't do and so it can be very struggling it can be very um difficult but there is hope the thing that is important to do and what i've learned um in our four years of being parents married with children is that we have to be intentional sometimes the days are long and it's just like you know you go from one thing to the other you wake up you get the kids ready you go to work you come back you do homework bath dinner and you just go into this cycle this cycle this cycle and sometimes you don't really have that much time together by yourself um, we have to be intentional about going out on dates. We have to be intentional about taking time with each other. We have to be intentional about, you know, at the end of the night, you know, um, not just, you know, rolling over and go to bed. Just, you know, like, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Like, let's talk about what's been going on in the day. Um, with the kids are not even with the kids like what's going on with you we have to find ways to be like re in tune with each other and to just be um loving and kind there is a scripture in the bible that talks about love i call it the love scripture and you may already be familiar with it but if you're not it's first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 through 5 and this is like the best explanation of what love is and what love looks like so let's read it really quickly Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It is it keeps no wrong. It keeps no record of wrongs. And I actually have Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bang myself with love. I have it um in this um picture form. This was actually a housewarming gift a friend of mine gave me, and I'm sorry if it's backwards. I don't know what it's going to show up like for you guys. But we have this in our room and you know I was thinking today when I pulled it out to bring to this video was like we should probably um, read this every morning like we do morning prayers with the kids and I was thinking like this would be something good to memorize um, just you know to remind ourselves like this is what love looks like for our home for our marriage and for our kids and yeah so maybe that's an idea that you guys want to do if you are struggling with showing love and being loving to each other um if there is like not much love going on in the household maybe you want to get one of these or um print it out and or you can write it out and you know put it up somewhere where everybody frequents and you know go over it i think that would be a great idea i'm i'm gonna do i'm gonna start doing that in the morning even if it's not just a family as a whole as myself like just like going back over it and like this is what love is and this is how i can show love to my kids and to my husband and it may seem like that's a lot of things to do. Like, that's a lot of examples of what love is, and I'm just not there. Like, we are just not at that place. But one thing I can say is you can start with just being kind. Everybody knows what being kind looks like. You know what it feels like when somebody is being kind to you, and you can extend that to your spouse. Um, you may feel like they don't deserve it. They have been absolutely disgusting and rude and inconsiderate or selfish. And like I can go all, you know, the list. You can probably list all the ways that your spouse is like not deserving of love. But, you know, God calls us to love each other. It's like the greatest 
commandment. Um, you know, we have to love each other. It, it can cover and help so many things. And if you don't know how to start with love, just be kind with each other. Just start, you know, by the simple things. Um, you know, you know, just even sending a text like, I hope you have a great day today or, you know, making breakfast or doing something unexpected for your spouse, um, can help kind of reawaken like, okay, and they're being kind and that will feed into love. I feel like kindness is kind of like a seed to grow, grow love. Cause you can't love somebody and not be kind. It, it's kind of like, they kind of go hand in hand. So start with kindness. There's a scripture that I want to read another scripture um, and then we'll get into the prayer Ephesians 4 2 through 3 be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace again humble and gentle patient um, sometimes we feel like that person is just not hearing me. They're not doing anything. And sometimes we forget like they are going through a transitions as well. We are always evolving. You are not the only one that's evolving. They are evolving as well. And I just pray that you guys will find ways to be patient and um, just to keep the other person in mind. Sometimes we are so focused on pointing the finger that we are like, we forget about like, well, what about me? What is it that's going on within myself that's naturally pouring out because whatever is within you is going to naturally pour out so if you are bitter and you are angry that's what's gonna keep spewing out coming out of you know your mouth and your dealings with people so if you start to focus on like how can i be kind with myself kind to myself loving to myself um taking care of me then you'll be able to be kind and loving and take care of others because you are doing it for yourself so I just want to encourage you with that. So let's get into the prayer, all right? Dear God, I thank you so much for these marriages, these unions. I pray that you will strengthen them where they feel like they are weak, where they feel like we just can't come back to where we were. And that may be the truth. Their marriage may never be the same as it was before kids or before they got married. But I pray, Lord God, that it will not be the same in the sense that it will get better and just grow and their relationship and their love will just deepen for each other. I pray, Lord God, for opportunities to come where they can be intentional and that they can spend time together, that they can get to know, re-know each other and um, relearn each other's um, love languages if they don't know them already or if their love languages have evolved and have changed. Help them to learn what that is. Help them to be kind to one another. Bring peace into the home. Um, if they are strained because of, you know, finances or because of health conditions or because of um, whatever reasons that is going on in the household that is causing them to have strain in their marriage, I pray, Lord God, for restoration and that you rebuild them, Lord God, and that you will give them strength, Lord God, and that you will tighten their bonds, Lord God. I pray for those who are getting ready to be married with kids who don't already have that experience. I pray that you would just cover them and protect them and that you would just start to evolve their mindsets, Lord God, so they can be receptive to what changes need to occur within themselves so that they can be better um, spouses, better lovers, better parents for their children that are to come or children that are already there. I pray, Lord God, for um, peace to just overwhelm them and the situations where they're like, we just are not seeing eye to eye. We just can't get it. We're just on two separate different pages. I pray, Lord God, for unity and for um, that you'll be the glue that rebinds them together, Lord God. And that they will see each other in a new light, in a better light, so that they can parent together amazingly. I thank you, God, for the um, ideas that you're going to give them in order to um, move forward in their relationship as um, they try to better their marriage. And I pray, God, that you would just... Um, bring insight to them things that they never thought of before or were able to see that you will take off the filters and the blinders that are blinding them from not um seeing what needs to be changed and what needs to be different and help them to do that for the wives who are watching this who feel like my husband is not gonna care he's not gonna hear any of this I pray, Lord God, that you would give them the courage and the boldness to still move forward and to love and to show kindness 
um, to their spouse and that by their actions or God, that it will positively affect their husband, their spouse to um, flip the script and be like, wait, I'm, I'm seeing things differently now because of how they're reacting to me. And I pray, Lord God, that you would just, you know, do some transformation in these homes. Our children are watching us and um, they may not say anything now, but years down the road, they will remember. And even if they don't remember exactly, they will remember how they felt in the home. And I pray, Lord God, that um, the tension that are in the home, that it will cease, Lord God, so that these children can feel peace. And that they can feel love and they can feel secure and safe in their home. And I pray, Lord God, for those marriages that they will also feel peace. That they will feel love and that they will feel security within their marriage as well. Help them to be examples, positive examples to others of what to do, Lord God. And that um, they will just continue to be influential in a positive way to others and to their children as they work on their marriage. Thank you, Lord God, for restoration. Thank you for peace. Thank you for encouragement, bringing others to encourage them and to um, give them time so they can have time away to each other to rebuild and work on themselves and their marriage. Thank you, God, for all of these things. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So that was day number 10. Tune in tomorrow for day number 11. I pray that you will have a great day and a great week in your marriage and that transformation and restoration will definitely occur. Have a great one. Like comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.